Nelson Mandela smiled and gave a thumbs up today as he was led away, went the report. What a contradiction, no justice in court. Fighting for more only to receive less. Meanwhile, the motherland screams out in distress. Bound by racist legislation, a lesser man would have gone insane with frustration. But not our hero. He stays stable. Always remembering the village fable. Bambata, Mancano, Dalasil, to name but a few. He took their struggle and he fought it for me and you. All them years in that cell, waiting without hating, not wishing them to hell. An ideal he was prepared to die for, striving to overturn a heinous law. He wasn't blind, he could see that the chains around him didn't stop him being free. Four, six, 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 four. Even as a numboy, he made a beautiful man, never budging from his peaceful world plan. When I think of him, I picture his smiling face. And think how one who encountered such hardship did so in complete and utter grace. To forgive is good, to forget is convenient. When it comes to crimes against humanity, we should never be lenient. We wanted him to punish to appease festering sores, but Mandela wasn't about settling old scores. Wounds, yeah, they heal, but so do they scar, and never has one been cut deeper than Mama Africa. So now what do they say of our hero? Takes more than one to save a people. And you won't find him in Parliament or in the steeple. It is you, it is I. It's time to stop accepting the lie. Stop turning a blind eye. Get off your moral high, stop finger pointing and ask yourself why. Mandela is an activist, yeah he was great. But there ain't no freedom in democracy. To speak out and you'll be handed your head on a plate. The way things were going, we'll be numbers ourselves at this rate. But I believe it's never too late. If it's one thing Mandela taught us, it's not to resign to a predetermined fate.